The last financial year was another challenging year for our teams, with all our colleagues working hard to keep our service users safe during the pandemic. To cope with the additional cost pressures caused by the pandemic, we received an extra £75.5 million pounds from Welsh Government. Of this, about £32.2 million was used for items such as extra beds for COVID patients, patient spacing, enhanced cleaning regimes to limit the spread of any infection, and additional workforce to support increased staff absence. A significant focus was placed on the elective care recovery, targeting improvements for patients in cancer, ophthalmology and other pathways, with a total spend of £19.1 million, supported by Welsh Government secured COVID funds. A hugely successful vaccination programme was rapidly developed and implemented across all health board counties, enabling employment opportunities for a number of local people, from young people, returning retired professionals and many additional hours from those already employed in the health and social care sector. Financial support was delivered to adult social care providers, recognising the significantly important work they offer across the sector and the challenges similar to the health board that they have encountered. Despite the exceptionally challenging year, and with the support of the additional COVID funding, the Health Board was able to deliver on its financial forecasts and ensured we delivered an end-of-year deficit of £25 million, as indicated within our initial financial plans. Dealing with the effects of COVID becomes an increasingly difficult financial challenge as we move into 2022-23. Our new financial plans are predicated on delivering a number of continuous improvement programmes. Whilst tackling the unprecedented levels of patients and waiting lists and rationalising the expenditure consumed on short-term COVID responses. The pressures on our health and social care system are significant, with about £30 million of cost pressures within our acute services linked to patient flow through the broader system, coupled with exceptionally difficult resourcing constraints and a very tired workforce. All of our teams are focused on fronting these challenges and our executive team planning objectives are aligned to balancing our response and ultimately making sure we put our patients first and transforming our services to deliver the best care for our patients in the most appropriate setting.